Today's pet of the week comes from the Iowa County Humane Society, and this dog was pushed out of a car and is still lovely and is still hoping for a loving, trusting home. Jen Siegel brought with us, brought to us sweet little Tessa. Tell me about yep. her backstory a little bit. So she and another dog were actually, someone saw a car pull over and actually push them out of the car and then drive off. So they were abandoned. Gosh, um, I can't understand why, as she's, she's just delightful. She's about a year old, um, some sort of lab mix. Um, you know, she's a, she's a good size. She's not too big, not too small. No. And she's just delightful. She's, <laughs> she's, not over, little... she's not overwhelming, and that's what I noticed, is she doesn't jump on you. She's just very, very nice, just a very nice, she you know, I, I think, it, oh, kisses for <laughs> auntie. I, I, you know, I think she's young, so you could, she probably needs a little bit of leash training mm -hmm. or what have you, but really sweet. She is, yes, yeah, she's got a great personality, uh, like you said. She could use some manners, uh, oh, and she so can get, she's... <laughs> Can't we all? Some of us um, never learn. She can, you know, she is playful and she can, if she's excited, she can get a little jumpy, but she has a great personality. Well, I know. mean, that's kind of a puppy thing. When I yeah, first adopted puppy. my Hallie, it was like I could not wear nice clothes for about two weeks until yeah. we really established that jumping is probably not mm -hmm. helpful to the wardrobe. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. Um, but and she's already, she's pretty good on a leash. Um, she's just, you know, she really wants to please. She's very smart. She's always looking to you to kind of tell her what to do. Sweet. So, which makes her a very trainable dog. So, you know, it's not going to take very long for her to just turn into a great, so, great dog. You said she does get get along well with other dogs then. <laughs> she does. Um, she's just a little bit of a puppy in that well, she doesn't yeah. have good dog manners. <laughs> she kind yeah, of okay. is a little rude about jumping on other dogs. Well, so, so she was just, Hallie. Again, again it's, it's just, just kind of learning. Now I have to ask because I'm sure someone at home is wondering too what happened to the other dog that was pushed out of the car? She's still available. Um, her name is Jessa. Okay. And she's at the shelter as well. She's about a year old and she's some sort of hound mix. Oh. So she's available as well. They do, you know, love each other. It'd be nice if they could go to a home together but at the Aww. same time they, they'd both be fine going to different homes I gotta so. tell you something if you have one dog you might as well have two you have to take <laughs> one dog out to that's, go potty anyway <laughs> I am a firm, I've never had two dogs until I adopted Mike for Hallie, and I can tell you, Hallie is so much better adjusted when we leave to go somewhere. Yeah. We don't worry about her being alone. And if I have to get out in the winter to take a dog out to go potty, what's the difference if you have one more on your arm? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm serious. I, I, it was the best thing I could have ever done yeah. for my dog and really just for our family unit. So maybe Tessa and Jessa could yeah. find a home together? Yep, yeah, I mean, that'd be, that'd be great, but, Sweet. you know, again, they can, they can also right. separate if they need to. Well, if you would like to make sweet, beautiful Tessa a permanent part of your loving home, she is waiting for you today at the Iowa County Humane Society. That is in Dodgeville. And her name again is Tessa. Hey, do you remember Sadie May from last week with the Madison College Veterinary Program? Which I don't understand. Sadie May is still waiting for her forever home. Another young girl, completely loving and sweet. So let's make that happen. And finally, and I mean finally, I'm so tickled. Remember Mojo from the Columbia County Humane Society, the, the big uh, Argentine dojo mix? He has gone to his forever home to a family. And I just want to thank you so much for um, the adoption of Mojo. And before we go, I just want to say hello to Mary in Portage. Mary loves the Pet of the Week segment. And when it airs, she always tells her friends about Pet of the Week. Aww. So Mary, make sure to tell everybody about Tessa so that we can get Tessa a home. Yes. And also Sadie May. And Jessa, who's with Tessa. Jessa. Jen, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. All right, let's roll the chimes and get to the